It's a role he's wanted to play for years. And this summer, Robert Foxworth is finally taking his turn as King Lear here at the Old Globe. Spout rain, no rain, wind, thunder, fire, my daughters. After more than four decades in television, film, and on stage, Robert Foxworth is taking on the role of his lifetime. Lear sort of epitomizes that ultimate achievement as an actor, you know, and one of the great roles for an older guy. Or I, maybe I should say one of the great roles, the great role for an old guy. <laughs> Here I stand, your slave, a poor, infirm, weak, and despised old man. I uh, started carrying around a script of it about seven or eight years ago when I realized that I had better do it pretty soon or I wouldn't be able to do it at all. When the opportunity came along to do it at the Old Globe's 2010 Shakespeare Festival, Foxworth seized it. The Old Globe is a wonderful place to work, and I've worked here several times before. And uh, to have an opportunity to work with this new artistic director for the festival, Adrian Noble, I just thought, wow, uh, it was worth putting off all those years uh, to be able to do it here and with him. Yet, I call you servile ministers. But Foxworth admits he was a little apprehensive about working with the British director. In a couple of cases, the directors showed a definite disdain, I might say, for American actors and their abilities. Adrian never, never exhibited anything like that. I here disclaim all my paternal care, propinquity, and property of blood. And in fact, he excited a new appreciation for the language. Adrian was very much a believer in... in uh, cracking open that meaning and getting it out to the audience. Proving, Uncle, tell me whether a madman be a gentleman or a yeoman. It's really a matter of him talking to us about vowels carrying emotion and consonants thrusting uh, meaning. To have a thousand with red burning spits come hissing in upon him, it shall be done. I will His concentration on it uh, was um, remarkable. Sometimes it was a little frustrating because we're not accustomed to it as American actors. We're accustomed to, you know, slurring and, uh, you know, taking our time and, and taking pauses between words and phrases to think about things and put them together. And he wants the thought in the line so that you excite the line by putting the thought into it, not between lines. Foxworth is putting this new method into practice in not one, but two shows this summer. I'm doing a smaller role in The Madness of George III. I play the real-life character, who, uh, Dr. Willis, who was instrumental in curing uh, King George of some of his madness. It's quite a departure from his role as King Lear. Because it's, it's for me, it's a, a lighter uh, piece of work uh, and a lot of fun and I love to hear audiences laugh. As for who makes the better king, Lear or George III? <laughs> We're very different kings. <laughs> Mr. King and Mr. King. And you can see both of them in repertory along with The Taming of the Shrew through September 26th. For BroadwayWorld.com, I'm Audra Stafford.